Hey, it's Ronnie here and thanks for coming to this channel. No doubt this is the one of the best channels to come to for some more information on eating a fruit-based diet and health issues and stuff like that. So you're in the right place if you want to, want to learn about that. And we're here. We're eating some bananas. We're working on some uh, secret fruit festival stuff for those of you that want to learn more. And what is... Uh, my thought for today is I was thinking about a little conversation I had with someone where they were talking about we were talking about the digestive system of people and we were talking about the whole idea that I was making a comment that we all have the same digestive system and my, my point about that is that if we all have the same digestive system then we really should be able to eat and thrive on the same diet so we just need to find out what is that best diet for all people and it'll work for all people and she did not believe that and she said well there's people that respond differently to different things and that is quite a common and prevalent and prevailing viewpoint out there that people need different diets and maybe need different diets for different conditions and perhaps need different diets for different times of the day, different times of their life, different genders, different blood types, and so on and so forth. And when we are doing that, when someone's thinking about that, they're getting caught up in the human world. They're getting caught up in the human mind and how we, we think about things and we break things down and we like to believe we're so different and individual. And we are different and individual, we're all, we're all unique. But the reality is, me and you share many, many, many more similarities than we share differences. Billions of similarities. And yes, I might have a beard, you don't have a beard. I might have white skin, and you don't. I might have blue eyes, or whatever colour my eyes are, grey or blue, and you don't. But these are really kind of small things. Let's look at some bigger things. We both breathe air. We both uh, have, hopefully, two kidneys, two lungs, unless you've maybe been hurt or had one removed. Our blood is red in colour. We have hair, not so much now, but we have, we have hair surrounding our bodies. We all have to go to the toilet on a daily basis, pretty much. We all have to eat, we all have to sleep. Okay, these are kind of silly things we all know in common, but we could get into detail about how our cells work all the same. We could get into detail about how we we all spent roughly nine months in a womb within a, a female human being. We all have that common experience. We've all got a mother and a father, whether we know them or met them or not. So we have so many similarities, so many. Even people that have genetic differences, like people that have Down syndrome, for example, they have a different set of chromosomes. They have slightly different chromosomes and things like that. They have, they have differences. They have differences, but they still have many billions of more similarities with us. And I was thinking about this when I was trying to create a list of all the things that every everyone likes. Like sunshine, like laughter, like uh, someone was saying the smell of the rain after, uh, how it smells after it's rained and things. There's just loads of things that we have all in common. So let's get back to diet for a second because that's what we're, that's what we're trying to learn and perfect and get better at. If someone says that we all need a different diet, that we all need to find something that works for us. To me, I just don't see that as being true. I think that that is the result of people not fully thinking through what they're saying, not fully researching what they're saying, and not realising that the field and the science of nutrition and food and biology and knowledge and things like that is really very advanced in these things and has a lot to say about things that are pretty much universal. And one of the main things that is always said 
whenever healthy diet is mentioned, usually the first statement is a healthy diet is full of fruits and, fruits and vegetables. And it never says, it never limits it or caps it or says, eh, it should only have a little bit though. It always says, you know, it's full of fruits and vegetables. It's usually the first statement. Often, often, if you go and look up healthy diet and, and you look up across a whole different range of resources and sources, you will find the statement, a healthy diet is full of fruits and vegetables and meals are based on, and it often says maybe whole grains or starches or something like that. And then it stops. And that's fascinating. Sometimes you will see that. It doesn't say it needs to include meat. It doesn't say needs to include milk. It doesn't say needs to include eggs. It doesn't say needs to include oil. It doesn't say needs to include fish for omega-3s or anything like that. It says a healthy diet is full of fruits and vegetables and meals are based on whole grains or whole starches. Sometimes it will say a mixed diet, a balanced diet, and not really explain what that means. And a lot, And that's another fallacy we can go into in another video. But it would really be very unhelpful if everyone had a different diet. If everyone had a completely different diet, how could you go to the doctor? How could you go to a therapist or anything and get any kind of help? Because they would have to find out a completely new, different strategy, a new surgery. You know, if, you, if your body and your digestive system and everything was different to everyone else's and you had a car crash and you got injured and a doctor had to operate on you, and they opened you up and you were totally different to everyone else, what's your chance of survival then if they have to work out a completely different operation for each individual person? So let's really look at it in detail. Or let's look at the facts. We all have a mouth. Digestive system, it starts here, right? Maybe it starts before there, but it starts here. It finishes round the back where the sun don't shine. So it starts here. We have lips. We have teeth, we have a tongue. Now you might have lost some teeth. Perhaps you've lost a tongue. Perhaps you don't have lips. But in reality, the vast majority of the time, everyone has tongue, teeth, lips, produces saliva, has salivary glands, chews their food, just automatically, don't even think about it, we chew, our tongue rolls the food around, we chew, we swallow, when it's turned into a small, smaller amount, it goes down, we all have this thing, an esophagus, it goes down, it goes into our stomach, we all have a stomach, I don't know if you've got more than one stomach, but I've only got one, I don't know if you've got four stomachs, and you can digest grass. I'm assuming that you can't. I'm assuming that you're the same as me. So let, let me ask, right now are we the same? Same digestive system so far? Lips, teeth, tongue, saliva, enzymes in the mouth, same enzymes. When you eat fruit, it breaks down. When you, pe when you put corn flour in your mouth, it doesn't break down. <laughs> if you want to try that. Uh, down into the stomach. Digestive juices, stomach acid, do we all have that? Pretty sure we do. Passes through the stomach, where does it go after that? Into the intestines, large intestine, small intestine. Do we all have that? Is it all roughly the same length in proportion to our body? Where does it go from there? Do the kidneys play a role? Do the, does the liver play a role? Do you have a liver? Do you have two kidneys? Don't we all? Is it the same stomach acid? Is it the same digestive juices? Is it the same process by which the food goes through the digestive system? Is it the same process by which the, the, the minerals, the nutrients are absorbed out of the food in the intestines and go into the bloodstream? Is that not all the same process for every single person? Does it not go into then the bowel and part of it goes into the bladder as urine and then it gets passed out and 
and then if people eat the same food, does it not basically come out in the same way? And when you eat fruit, does it not come out in a more pleasant way? And when you drink more water, is your urine more clear? Is, is, isn't, aren't all these things the same for everyone? Don't we have the same digestive system? Don't we basically have the same digestive system, 100%? I would say so. What do you think? I would say so. So when someone says that we all need something different, why do we need something different? What is it? In reality, it's just in practice, people want something different. They want something different. And they may have a short-term experience of trying to eat more fruit, and it didn't work out for them short-term. But I have that experience as well. I have an experience years ago when I decided I was going to eat fruit for breakfast and I ate oranges for breakfast and I had kind of an experience where I had to where it was it wasn't like it was diarrhea but it was like I had to go to the toilet for sure and I thought well this can't be right I thought that fruit was healthy and good for me and and yet I'm having this reaction to it and took me a long time to learn that that reaction wasn't to do with the fruit, it was to do with the combination of the fruit with all of the other unhealthy things that were in my system at that time. So I can understand that people have had short-term negative experiences with, eat with eating a lot of fruit or anything. But over the long term, and in reality, you can take it to the bank that fruits and vegetables in abundance as much as you like is a step in the right direction for your health and that is for every single person not just for one person not just for me not just for special people that are fruitarians or raw vegans but for every single person out there so embrace that and realize it and don't let people tell you that we all need something different it's not true we've all got the exact same digestive system don't let people tell you it's any different it's not magic it's not magic, we're all the same species, it's, we don't have something different inside us, it's all the same thing. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean you can dictate the rules of biology. You can't change that. So, I hope you've got something out of this video, I'd love it if you subscribe, if you show it to more people, if anyone ever questions you on that. And we're also doing the Fruit Festival again this year, and we have a competition running right now, if you want to join the competition, it's going to be very limited to a number of people, so join as soon as you can. And what we're going to do is we're going to give a free ticket to someone for just for joining the competition, for putting their details in. There's going to be a prize draw, but on top of that, you can also win different elements of a raw vegan kitchen. So like a blender, you can win a juicer, you can win spiralizer, citrus juicer. We have a number of different things, and I'll put a link below and maybe put a link up here somewhere. If you want to join that competition, do so. And we look forward to hopefully seeing you at the Fruit Festival at some point. And if not, then you know, stay stick to the stick to the fruit path. Eat more fruit. Fruit really is the truth. It is the real deal when it comes to your health. And uh, just that's the destination you want to head. The destination is perfect health. The direction is to keep moving forward towards that perfect health by implementing new lifestyle factors that support your health every day. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.